Joining us now is Atlanta's Mayor Keisha Lance Bottoms. Madam Mayor, good morning to you. And, and let's pick it up right there. Um, Governor Kemp is not against masks. He has gone around the state and suggested people wear them and wear worn one himself. He says, however, that you don't need a mandate to do the right thing. What's your response to that? Um, well, good morning, and thank you for having me. The entire uh, this filing of a lawsuit is is, is simply bizarre, quite frankly. Uh, Savannah and uh, Mayor Johnson instituted their mask order at the first of July. The governor's hometown of Athens, Georgia, instituted a mask order on the eighth of July. And then when Atlanta instituted a mask order, and I did it via executive order, he filed a lawsuit. And in addition to filing this suit based on the mask mandate, uh, he takes exception with some advisory business reopening recommendations that were made by the city. He is su suing us personally, myself and the city council, uh, because of those advisory recommendations. And it, um, I, I don't think it happenstance that this lawsuit came the day after Donald Trump visited Atlanta and I pointed out that he was violating city law by not having on a mask at Atlanta's Hartsville-Jackson International Airport. And so um, there are several mayors across the state who join me in, in being perplexed by the governor's actions. And we will continue to do what we need to do on behalf of the people we've been elected to represent. Well, don't sugarcoat it. I mean, you think that the governor is motivated by politics or doing this at the bidding of the president because um, someone remarked that, that, that the president violated Atlanta's order by not wearing a mask when he was at the airport? I absolutely do. I think that he is putting politics over people. And there, it's interesting, even when you look at the decision making of our governor, and I'll remind you, this is the same governor who didn't know until well into the pandemic that it could be spread by asymptomatic transmission. Uh, he didn't go to Emory for guidance. He didn't go to the CDC for guidance. He went to Augusta University, which I'm sure is a fine university in our state, but it's certainly not Emory University or the CDC in terms of its expertise with infectious disease control. So he was searching for an answer. Um, he got it. And it's the same answer and the same playbook that we've seen come out of the White House. I should say we did ask Governor Kemp to be with us this morning. His office declined. Let me ask you this. You know, you yourself, Atlanta was late to uh, the mask mandate. Savannah uh, did it, I think, on July 1st. Other cities were earlier. So if, if it's important, how come it took so long? Well, I wanted to wait and see what would happen and if he would respond to Savannah's mandate. Uh, because I suspected that when I did something on behalf of the city of Atlanta, it would become problematic. And that's the reason I waited to see if there would be a response from his office to Savannah's mandate. And there was no response. This lawsuit was filed personally against me and members of the city council uh, the day after Donald Trump was in our city. And so what at the end of the day, this is about saving lives. Over 3,100 people have died in our state. 106,000 have tested positive. Myself, my husband, and one of my children are amongst the positive. I'm in quarantine as we speak. So I take this very seriously, and I will continue to do everything in my power to protect the people of Atlanta. And the governor has simply overstepped his bounds and his authority, um, and we'll see him in court. You think you'll prevail in court? I absolutely think that I will prevail. And the people of Atlanta, by and large, a support wearing mask. And what we are hearing from businesses across our city is that these inconsistent policies are putting, uh, it, it's making it difficult for them to enforce mask mandates in their businesses. And so even with this advisory committee, Savannah, we have representatives from Fortune 500 companies, Delta Airlines, one of our largest employers in the state, supports wearing masks. And so the notion uh, that we are somehow interfering with, with businesses or people's right to work is simply baseless and a waste of taxpayer money. What I wish the governor would do would be to expand testing and contact tracing so that we could get to the other side of this pandemic. I, I got to cut it off there for time. I, I do want to ask you real quickly how you're feeling and your husband and your son having been diagnosed with COVID-19 yourselves. 
we're all we're feeling much much better um not quite a hundred percent with my husband yet but compared to how he was a few days ago it's a, a miraculous turnaround well thank you for being with us uh, under the circumstances thank you very much atlanta's mayor keisha lance bottoms appreciate it